Okay, we wanted to put together a very high quality CO2 system that could be used on a small aquarium and then could scale up as uh, customers needs uh, needed to and they could add different types and different sizes of tanks. First thing you need to know is there's three different styles of tanks that are available to you. Um, first is a standard tank. This uses a standard US thread, has a valve to turn it off and on. It's available in both an up direction and a side mounted direction on some of the larger tanks and these are usually brushed uh, aluminum. Uh, second is um, a paintball type adapter tank. This paintball tank has an o-ring seal, a pin valve, it requires a special fitting which we'll talk about in just a moment but sometimes these are more easily available to people and can be refilled at sporting goods stores easier uh, if you don't have an aquarium shop that can refill uh, the aluminum can. And then third, the disposable uh, 95 gram can. Uh, nice thing about these, this one is by Up Aqua. They're very easy, they're convenient, they're small, they last for a reasonable amount of time, but they do cost a little bit more to use than if you're using a refillable system and they're not perfect for large aquariums. After you've got a tank set up, uh, decided on, this has an Up Aqua stand by the way, so it'll hold up. You've got to have a regulator. There's a couple of types of regulators on the market. Um, the best regulators we've seen are coming out of Up Aqua. And there are three different styles. We're going to show you two of those here today. The first one is called an omnibus regulator. Omnibus regulators, they have uh, 0 to 1500 PSI. Uh, they do not reduce the pressure coming out of the tank. So it's the straight pressure coming out of the tank. This is the least expensive regulator. And nice thing about Up Aqua's model is you can loosen this. And by removing this adaption, you can use it for a standard tank or for um, a disposable tank. But that's not where we're going to put in our basic package. We're going to go a, a step up from that with the same company. Um, separate type of regulator. This is a decompression regulator. So this one decompresses the gas coming out. You're going to get around a 30 PSI uh, on the gauge coming out of here automatically. It has a needle valve and it has a solenoid valve. Nice thing about a solenoid valve is you don't need to run CO2. You can conserve that at night. You plug this into a standard uh, timer for a lamp and have it go off at night because plants don't use CO2 at night. Then you also have a couple of other nice features about this regulator. You can remove the base. Uh, this base has an o-ring in it to let it work with standard fittings but by removing it you can then go straight to disposable canister which we're providing in this kit or in addition we have the paintball um, adapter. The paintball adapter um, you take that small o-ring out of the piece you removed, you drop it in the end, you screw it down, and now the unit can be used with the um, paintball tanks. So this regulator will do all three things, high quality, made in Taiwan, should last you a long time. A couple of things to remember with regulators, anytime you go to remove them, you turn the tank off, you bleed the gas, then remove them. Okay, that's something you need to know. Uh, second, always check for any leaks. The O-ring seals, if there's an O-ring or any kind of seal, you don't need to worry about using Teflon tape, but you still need to check it. Anything that doesn't have a seal, an O-ring, or a gasket, you'll need to use Teflon tape. Then after the uh, solenoid valve, you want to, you'll need tubing. Uh, we use uh, Up Aqua CO2 tubing because it's a high tensile strength tubing. The green is the highest tensile strength. Medium to medium high is the clear. This is not standard airline tubing. It's also more rigid. So what that means is anytime you go to use it, to attach it, make sure you put it in warm water and wet it so when you're going over glass pieces, you, you, know, you don't break them. So be a little careful with that. From the, from the valve and the needle valve, you go to, and again, we chose Hydro Aquatics, just like the paintball adapter, we chose a Hydro Aquatics uh, stainless steel check valve because they're higher quality, they're more durable. Make sure you follow the flow of the check valve itself. From the check valve, you're gonna to go to a bubble counter. Here we chose a Mr. Aqua bubble counter. The spiral, not only does it look cool and you're gonna love watching it, it also allows a more easy regulation and being able to count the bubbles easier. You'll have to fill this with a small amount of water uh, to get the bubbles to start at the bottom, and then you'll run tubing uh, in, out, and then it comes with this piece here which um, we've used this small tank just for demonstration purposes. This, this helps you go over the edge of the tank without kinking the tubing. Uh, 
We're not gonna put that in because it wasn't needed on a tank this small. But then we chose a, a Viv. Viv is the highest quality glass blown ceramic and all their, all their products are of the highest quality. Make sure you wet that uh, suction cup before it goes on. You're gonna place that to the bottom of your aquarium and then connect it with tubing. Leave ceramic and diffusers in the water for at least 30 minutes up to overnight uh, prior to engaging them with CO2, that'll ensure that they work properly. If you don't like glass, the only disadvantage, glass will disappear in your tank, but as it grows algae, you'll have to take it out and soak it in bleach, put it back in the aquarium. Uh, Up Aqua, I'm sorry, Hydra Aquatics also has stainless steel units that would be brushed stainless steel and you don't have to worry about that on those units. The last thing, you're gonna need nutrients for the tank and if you choose them right, you don't need a lot. Pay attention to your alkalinity, phosphate, nitrate, but you can use an all-in-one. We like the Azu Nature Grow all-in-one uh, plant supplement. This gets everything that the plants are going to need in one in one liquid. Uh, they also make a tablet for some of the faster-growing plants, the rooted plants that you can put into the soil. And then uh, Aqualife is coming out with a new line that um, Aqualife is coming out with a new line we've been testing. We're really excited about that should be a premium, extreme upper end planted nutrient. It's not premium on price, but the quality is unsurpassed and we'll be announcing that soon. Thank you.